Hello everyone, this is Dr. Abhinav and in this video today we will be seeing about how to apply for the post graduation course at the Armed Forces Medical Services. So in this video I will be talking about the uh, institutions where you can uh, join the Armed Forces Medical Services. It's not only in the Pune, there are uh, other uh, institu institutions associated with AFMS also. So we will see about it and then I uh, will tell you about some important points which you will have to know before uh, choosing to join uh, PG course at AFMS or not and then we'll see the uh, available seats, uh, tentative available seats and then I will tell you about the process of uh, how to apply and finally we'll see what are the documents needed for this exam. So before starting this video if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do subscribe. So let's start. First I'll be discussing about the AFMS PG 2021, the participating institutes where and all you can join uh, for the armed forces medical services so the colleges are like uh, as everyone know armed forces medical college in pune you can uh, do your pg there or you can do at institute of aerospace medicine at bangalore inhs aswini mumbai army hospital delhi command hospital kolkata bangalore lucknow and Chennai. so these are the eight institutions where uh, who, which comes under the armed forces medical services so after your need PG, if you want to do PG at uh, Armed Forces Medical Services, and you can uh, proceed in any one of these institutions. So this there is a priority for uh, AFMS counseling. So this is the list of priority. There are actually five priority lists, lists and uh, people uh, who haven't uh, studied in AFMS or uh, currently studied somewhere else and want to join at AFMS uh, will be under the category 5. This is where most of the candidates uh, watching this video would probably be. So priority 1 candidates are people who are already serving at AFMS office. So it's really like uh, people who did MBBS at uh, the Armed Forces Medical College, Pune. And priority 2 will be foreign students sponsored, sponsored by the government. And priority 3 candidates will be medical officers sponsored by uh, paramilitary organization or other uh, government of India organizations. Priority 4 will be for uh, ex SSC short, short Service Commission uh, AMC officers released from services after completion of contractual services and within three years after they release from service. So, usually after MBBS, uh, without doing a PG, you can directly join in uh, uh, armed forces and uh, do your short, sh short service commission there. It's basically like, basically like working in the army without doing PG. So, those are the people. Uh, coming under uh, category 4 who have uh, completed the short service commission and uh, uh, it has not been more than 3 years of their completion. So these people come under the priority 4. So priority 5 as told are civ civilian candidates willing to serve in the armed forces medical service subject to the fulfillment of the eligibility criteria. So most of us would be uh, in priority 5. So in this 5 priorities the order remains the same. So this in this order only you are uh, preferences will be given. So, yeah, for example, if a priority one and a priority four candidate uh, in this two only, if one can be selected, then the priority will go for priority one. So, the highest priority in the counseling is for priority one and the lowest is priority five. So, important, some important points to know before uh, uh, before going into the process for the application. Uh, first, I want you to make uh, sure that you'll, you'll have to know about the AFMC and then you can choose whether to apply there or not. So, because if, you, if I'm not telling all this and I'm directly going to the application process, then uh, uh, some for some of them it would be a waste of time because uh, they would not uh, like some of the uh, criteria given here. So first, you make sure that you have want to go to uh, the AFMC, AFMS service. And if you want to go, then you can watch the application process. If not, then it will be like kind of waste of time for you. So before going to the application process, we'll see here. Maximum permissible age for priority four civilian candidates will be 30 years. So previously it was 35, now they have made into 30. So if you're already above 30 years, then uh, uh, it's not for you. All candidates desirous of uh, admission of uh, PG courses should have appeared in NEET PG 2021 and secured the 50th percentile or more marks. 
to be eligible for the counseling afms counseling so 50th percentile for the stem for general category was 366 and so comes for the other categories also differently so for general category it was 366 marks so you should have scored at least above that the candidate should be willing to serve the afms for 5 years after completing your pg course so and then if you don't want to uh, do that 5 year uh, uh, bond then to break the bond you will have to pay 53 lakh rupees for government of india so if you want to do pg and you do pg at uh, afmc and then you don't want to do the 5 years bond if you want to go out then you will have to pay 53 lakhs and then go out so this 53 lakhs is only for the initial year then after, after, once you proceed to the ne uh, next and next years the amount will be increasing by 1 lakh uh, 20000 or 1 lakh 30000 So at starting it will be fifty three lakhs. Then after you complete one year, it will go to fifty five lakhs bond. Then fifty seven lakhs. So finally, it will be maximum of sixty point five lakhs bonds, fifty point five lakh rupees for the bond value. So make sure you know this: the age, the securing ah uh, now marks needed for uh, applying the counselling, then the bond, and how many years will have to serve. and you'll also have to know that civilian candidates will undergo medical examination so if you are not fit then uh, your application will be rejected so it is important to be medically fit so the medically fit uh, there is a separate criteria for that if you want to know well, i can make a, another video on that also please do let me know so all candidates irrespective of priority once admitted in particular degree course on conclusion of the counseling process will not be permitted to change over to another subject or to participate in the online counseling for other medical colleges so once you choose your uh, uh once you decide to go into a degree particular degree then uh, you can change or you can uh, go to uh, other uh, medical colleges so if you get selected in the counseling then you will have to proceed with it so these are some of the important points that uh, i wanted to share with you also so make sure if you are okay with all these points then you can uh, move on to the next part of the video that i will be discussing now so if you think that this is not for you or you are not interested then you can uh, stop the video here itself so next will be the application process uh, before that we will see the seat availability so the seat availability tentative this was the 2019 uh, seat availability we see in the pune college it has the highest number of seats 165 seats so all these departments are available so With the total of eight colleges, there is a there was a 352 seats in 2019. But this seat availability will change according to the uh, presence and absence of uh, the specialty doctors. So method of selection. So how will how will our candidates usually selected? So the first thing is entrance exam NEET PG, which you will have to score about the 50th percentile mark, and then the AFMC website will provide you a merit list. And that is will that will be priority wise so in priority one there will be a merit list in those candidates will have to proceed with the counseling at afmc in priority two they will release a merit list and those con ca candidates will proceed for the counseling so it will be like that for five categories so it's usually need pg and then the merit list i do not see anywhere about the mention about the interview for the pg selections so uh, they have given about the entrance exam and then they will release a merit list according to merit list you will be uh, asked to attend the counseling so the important thing the application process first thing you will have to appear for neat pg exam and score at least 50th percentile mark then you will have to register and opt for afms on the medical counseling committee website this, this is the website it is mandatory to be registered in this website only then you will be select you will be uh, called for or, or you will be eligible for the afms counseling process so if you are not uh, uh registered in this website then even if you score above the 58 percentile mark then uh they won't you are not eligible for the afmc counseling so once you uh register here then the afmc will uh, release a merit list that is priority wise priority wise merit list at, as i said before so you'll have to keep checking the afmc website and the mcc website also so uh, uh they will duly update you with all the updates they come up with so you will also have to check this priority wise merit list only people who are there in the merit list
can proceed for further uh, counseling at afmc so then you will have to attend the afmc counseling so the counseling will depend on uh, uh, where you apply for so you can be called anywhere not not only in pune so after uh, you attend the counseling there is a provision for a second round of counseling also if you are not uh, if the, there are vacancies in the first round counseling so for the counseling for uh, uh, category 5 candidates uh, this time has been said to be in the uh, offline for uh, all other candidates it will be online counseling so this is the application process we have already uh, done with the neat pg and scored above 50th percentile mark then we'll have to register at the mcc.nic.in then the prior, we'll have to wait for uh, the uh, afmc website to release the merit list then if your name is there in the merit list then you will have to attend the counseling at afmc or or any other college associated with afms so these are the some of the list of certificates that is needed to be produced by the uh, candidates uh, during the day of admission so you will have to check with all these certificate so if you don't uh, if you have if you don't have any of the certificate you can call to the afmc uh, afms uh, website and then uh, clarify it with them so these are the basic process so this afmc not all people might be interested in this so if you are interested in this please go for it and uh, make sure that you read all the Uh, information that has been given in the website before uh, choosing this because uh, there are lots of lots and lots of thing to uh, see before joining this uh, fmc because you will also have to see about the medical fitness you will have to uh, work after, uh, five years in the army and if not you will have to pay the bond money so many many of these things are there and uh, so please go through everything that is given in the website so uh, that is what i have i wanted to discuss uh, in this video and if you have any doubts please do let me know in the comment section we'll uh, discuss about it i'll try to uh, refer and clarify it with you so that's all for today thank you don't forget to subscribe to our channel